My name is Miss Nicole. My name is Miss Amanda. We will be your teachers today. Welcome to our classroom. Today we will read Pete the Cat, I Love My White Shoes, and Pete the Cat, My Four Groovy Buttons by Eric Litwin. Eric Litwin is the author of this book. I love this story because of the songs. <laughs> they are so funny. They are so funny. <laughs> Today, the vocabulary will be about clothes and colors. Ooh. We will use words about colors for our homework today. So let's review. Repeat after me. Okay. Red. Red. <laughs> Orange. Orange. Green. Green. Oh. Blue. Blue. Pink. Pink. Yellow. Yellow. <laughs> and purple. Purple. Good job. <laughs> okay, are you ready to learn a song about colors? Oh, we're going to sing. You can see the words here. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Red and orange. Red and orange. Green and blue. Green and blue. Pink and yellow. Pink and yellow. And purple too. And purple too. All the colors that I know. Live up in the rainbow. <laughs> Again? One okay, more time. Together. Red and orange, green and blue, pink and yellow and purple too. All the colors that I know live up in the rainbow. Good job. That's really good. That's a fun song. Okay. Well, today we're going to talk about clothes, so let's do a little review. So, we, this little boy is wearing a shirt. <laughs> shirt. A jacket. Jacket. You put that on your body. <laughs> and pants. Pants. I like your pants. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing shoes good job on his feet whoops oh and he is wearing sunglasses groovy <laughs> <laughs> pete the cat likes to say groovy yes he does <laughs> that means it's all good <laughs> in this story pete the cat has shoes that are different colors these shoes are black <laughs> Black. These shoes are brown. Brown. <laughs> and these shoes, Pete's favorite color, white. White. <laughs> I like the white shoes too. Okay, so this story is about Pete the cat and his many colors of shoes. Ooh. Pete. The cat is a very happy cat, and he loves his white shoes. <laughs> Does he cry? Oh, goodness, no. <laughs> he just keeps on singing. He steps in water and gets his shoes wet. He steps in mud and makes his shoes brown. He steps in strawberries and makes his shoes red. And he steps in blueberries and makes his shoes blue. Are you ready to read? Yes, let's read. Pete the Cat, I Love My White Shoes by Eric Litwin and art by James Dean. <laughs> it's Pete the Cat. Pete the Cat was walking down the street in his new white shoes. 
Pete loved his white shoes so much, he sang this song. I love my white shoes. 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 Oh, oh no! Pete stepped in a large pile of strawberries. <laughs> what color did it turn his shoes? Red. 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 <laughs> did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song. Ooh. I love my red shoes. 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 <laughs> oh, no! Pete stepped in a large pile of blueberries. <laughs> What color did it turn his shoes? Blueberries are blue. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my blue shoes. 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 <laughs> Oh, no! Pete stepped in a large puddle of mud. What color did it turn his shoes? Mud is brown. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking oh. along and singing his song. I love my brown shoes. 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 Psh. Oh no! Pete stepped in a bucket of water. And all the brown and all the blue and all the red were washed away. What color were his shoes again? White! But now they were wet. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song. Mm. I love my wet shoes. 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 <laughs> the moral of Pete's story is, no matter what you step in, keep walking along and singing your song. Because it's all good. I love that story. I do too. <laughs> what does Pete wear? Pete the cat wears shoes. Shoes. The strawberries make Pete's shoes. His shoes are red. The blueberries make Pete's shoes blue. His shoes are blue. The mud makes Pete's shoes. His shoes are brown. Brown, good job. Ooh, now we have a little game. Are you ready? Okay, let's try, let's play. Pete's shoes are which color? They are white. Yes, these shoes are white. If Pete stepped in, we'll show you a picture, and you guess what color his shoes will be. Okay. Pete steps in carrots. What color are Pete's shoes? Pete's shoes are Orange. <laughs> okay. If Pete steps in lemons, hmm. what color are Pete's shoes? Pete's shoes are yellow. Good job. <laughs> if Pete steps in grapes, hmm. what color are his shoes? Hmm. Pete's shoes are purple. 
Good job. Ooh, now we have a little game with clothes. Last week, we learned about the Gruffalo's body parts. Today, we are going to learn about clothes. So, where do you wear your hat? His hat is on his head. Good. <laughs> where are his sunglasses? His sunglasses are on his eyes. Very good. <laughs> where is his jacket? His jacket is on his body. Excellent. Good <laughs> job. Do you wear your shoes on your hands? No. <laughs> I wear my shoes on my foot. Good job. Are you ready to read another story? Oh, we're going to read again. This is Pete the cat and his four groovy buttons. Okay. This is a button. Oh. The button is on Pete's shirt. How many buttons does Pete have? Pete has four buttons. One, two, three, four. Four. Take one away. Pop. How many buttons does Pete have? Three. One, two, three. Good job. Three buttons. Take one away. How many buttons does Pete have? Two. One, two. Good job. Take Good. one away. How many buttons does Pete have? One button. Very good. <laughs> Take one away. How many buttons does Pete have? Zero buttons. He has zero buttons. He has no buttons. No. There's another button that's a body part. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Pete's belly button? On his body. It's under his shirt. Yes. <laughs> Are you ready to read? Yes, let's read. Pete the Cat and His Four Groovy Buttons <laughs> by Eric Litwin and art by James Dean. Pete the Cat put on his favorite shirt with four big, colorful, round, groovy buttons. He loved this button so much. He sang this song. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. Pop, pop. Oh no! One of the buttons popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Three. Four minus one equals three. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. Oh, no. Pop. Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Two. Three minus one equals two. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My buttons, my, my buttons, buttons, my two groovy buttons. My, my buttons, buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. Oh. <laughs> Pop! Oh, oh no! <laughs> Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? One. One. <laughs> two minus one equals one. one. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My, my button, button, my, my button, button, my one groovy button. My, my button, button, my button, my one groovy button. Ding. Pop. Oh, no. 
Oh, no! The last button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Zero! zero. One, one minus, minus one, one equals zero. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! Buttons come and buttons go. Pete looked down at his buttonless shirt, and what do you think he saw? His belly, belly button! button. <laughs> and he kept on singing his song. My button, my button, still have my belly button. <laughs> my button, my button, still have my belly button. It's my all good. <laughs> I guess it simply goes to show that stuff will come and stuff will go. But do we cry? Goodness, no. We just keep on singing. Today you will use vocabulary about colors for your homework. Let's review. I think Miss Amanda has a surprise <gasps> Ooh, for us. Oh, yes, let's play a little game. Hmm, Miss Nicole. For me? Thank you. <laughs> oh, they're running away. Okay. Mm hmm Okay. So, what color is this balloon? Pink. Pink. Good <laughs> job. What color is this balloon? Yellow. Good job. What color is this balloon? Purple. Purple. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what color is this balloon? It is green. Good job. <laughs> what color is this balloon? Red. Red. <laughs> what color is this balloon? Blue. Good job. <laughs> and the last one, what color is this balloon? Orange. Orange. <laughs> Good job. Oh, that was fun. Miss Amanda, let's review the clothing vocabulary for today. Okay. So first he is wearing, he wears a shirt. Shirt. He is wearing pants. 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 He is wearing, oh it's hidden, shoes. Shoes on his feet, on his foot. He is wearing, he's not wearing that. He is wearing a hat on his head. Oh, nice. <laughs> and he is wearing sunglasses. Groovy. Groovy. <laughs> okay, great. This vocabulary is used for your homework, and we will go over the homework quickly now. Your homework is to draw a rainbow and write the colors, and it might look something like this. Very good. For the fun activity, for grades one through three. You will color a pair, you will draw a pair of shoes and color it your favorite color. <laughs> you can write, I love my green shoes. Very good. And the fun activity for grades four through six. The fun activity will be to Draw Pete the cat wearing sunglasses. Shoes, pants, and a shirt. Write oh. the words. Very good. You can draw Pete the cat wearing shoes, pants, a shirt, and sunglasses. Write the words. Thank you for learning with us today. Please send us your homework to englishbookeducation.co dot uk slash homework. We would love to see your pictures. Thank you for joining us today. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>